only I still had my red hair, this shirt would be perfect. Because I've got like the green scale leggings and everything, so I'd be like, I really would be Ariel, but no. Dark hair! Anyway, I actually do have a book review for you today. I'm going to be talking about The Bookshop Book by Jen Campbell. The author herself sent me a copy of this book in order to read it and review it for you guys. So here I am today sharing with you my thoughts on The Bookshop Book. This is a non-fiction book about bookshops and basically we just kind of explore some weird, interesting, very different bookshops that are all around the world. And I honestly think that so many of you guys would enjoy reading this book because obviously you are here with a love of reading and hopefully that means you love books too and therefore hopefully you also like bookshops. If that is the case then I think this is a perfect book to have. In learning about these bookstores, for a lot of them we learn kind of the origin behind how the bookstore came about, how it was founded, a little about the original founders themselves or the current owners of them, what kinds of books these bookstores sell, any interesting aspects of the bookshops themselves in terms of like the structure or layout of them I suppose, like the Book Barge for example, which is a bookstore on a houseboat uh, that travels up and down canals and rivers and things like that, selling books on a boat, which is pretty freaking cool. But scattered throughout the book we also have these pages which have bookish facts. This can be about a range of different things. Some of them are kind of about the publishing industry or bookstores or authors or things like that. So there's just some really interesting snippets scattered throughout the book which I thought were really fascinating. There's also a couple of sections which have pictures on both the inside and outside of different bookstores. Scattered throughout this book as well Jen has included some quotes from a range of different authors talking about any interesting experiences with books and reading throughout their lives and also what their bookshop would be like if they ever were to open one which I thought was really really fascinating as well because there were some authors included that I've read some of their books before and I thought it was really really interesting. To be honest I kind of want to make this like a bucket list. I want to visit like all of the bookstores mentioned in this book. They all sound amazing and so many of them have such a fascinating history behind them. I kind of just want to explore them myself and witness all of the amazingness that was shared in this book. And I'm proud to say that I have visited some of the bookstores that are mentioned in this one. Two in fact. Uh, neither of them are in Australia actually but I did visit uh, the Strand bookstore in New York and the last bookstore in LA. But those bookstores that are actually mentioned in here that are relatively close by to me within driving distance I do plan on visiting one day so I will be taking a couple more off my list. I definitely found the bookshop book to be a fascinating, enlightening and at some points actually quite hilarious read. I giggled quite a few times uh, over some of the interesting facts that are shared in this one. So this book definitely got a 5 out of 5 stars from me. Highly, highly recommend it for the book lover, especially the bookshop lover. I also think that this would be a great gift idea for someone in your life that loves books and bookstores and all that jazz. So yeah, if you're interested in picking this one up at all, I will leave a link down below uh, to where you can pick it up through the book depository through my affiliate link. But yes, that's all that I have to say about the bookshop book. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, as always, I'd love to know your thoughts about the book if you have read it yourself. In particular, if you can remember, what was uh, one or two of your favourite bookstores mentioned in this one that you would love to visit. I'm not sure if I can pick one but I would actually really like to visit a book town. That's basically like a town or village with a large amount of bookstores in it. I think I would be in heaven if I stayed in a book town. That would be really fabulous. <laughs> okay finally wrapping this up now that's all that I have to talk about in this video so I will see you guys next time with a new video.